All right. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakadash, which is ancient Prelio Hebrew for Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's only name, who the world is going to be called Jah, Jehovah, etc. Bahasham, which is in the name, Yahweh Shai is the Son's only Hebrew name, which the world is going to be called Jesus, Yeshua, etc. In the Holy Spirit, which is Baha Rakadash, Rakadash being the Holy Spirit, the wisdom on the sign. Of the Holy Scriptures, right? Um, I want to go into a lesson of the Sabbath, all right? When is the Sabbath day and how serious it is? Because we're coming into the, the new year according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushin, according to these pagans, these heathens, all right? Because you know, the Gregorian calendar is based on, is based on sun worship, all right? Saul Invictus. So let's get it. Let's go to the law, the commandments, and start this thing up. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do thy work, do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh thy power. In it thou shalt thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So nobody's supposed to work on the Sabbath day, not even the animals, right? For in six days, Yahweh made the heaven and the earth and sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, Yahweh blessed, blessed the Sabbath, he blessed the Sabbath, Day and hallowed it. Let's go into that word hallowed. That's quadasha, quadash, right? To consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, be hallowed, be holy, sanctify, be separate. All right? Set apart to keep to oneself an F here. All right? And so forth and so forth. So, that's, you might say that's not threatening or whatnot. But let me show you what's going to happen to the spirit if you disobey the commandments, all right? This is Exodus chapter 31. He goes on to say to Moses, Exodus chapter 31 and verse 12, Yahweh speak unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you. It is a sign between me and you, the children of Israel. He didn't say that to the world. Between me and you throughout your generations that ye may know that I am Yahweh that doth sanctify you. Alright? Most I sanctify you on the Sabbath day. That's how serious it is. Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it sh shall surely be put to death. For, who for whosoever doeth any work therein that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Right, you shall be put to death. Into that word death, and that's ma watha mawat to die, kill, have one executed. Right, mawat. It says verse 15: Six days may work be done, but in the seven is the Sabbath of rest, holy to Yahweh. Whosoever doeth any work. In the Sabbath day, he surely shall be put to death. All right? Verse 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. Let's go into that word covenant. Let's go into that word perpetual. Covenant, alliance, pledge between men. Treaty, alliance, league, constitution, ordinance, agreement, pledge. All right? Like a contract. All right? All right, a compact confederacy covenant to the evil. All right, let's go to perpetual motions. It's locked here. We got to practice that Hebrew. That's bara, bara yath, ba ra ya tha, bara yath. Um, perpetual. All right, it says I wa. La ma 
I will long. I will long. Or I long. Okay. It says long duration antiquity. Future. 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 Futurity. Wow. Futurity. English is so crazy. Forever. <laughs> Ever. Lasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient world. All right, it says forever. We get the point, right? Let's see. Who has um, forever, always, continuous existence, perpetual, everlasting, indefinite, or or unending future, eternity. So this is a covenant between the children of Israel. All right, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics. Amerindians, Native Americans, and Confucian fields that look like so-called Caucasians, Chinese, etc. Right? Um, because you know, sea was mingled. Their fathers slept with with heathen women, right? Which we are forbidden to do. But well, that's another lesson. Um, but it's right here. It's a perpetual covenant, right? And it goes on to say, "It is a sign between me and you and the children of Israel forever." For six days, Yahweh made the heaven and earth, and on the seventh day, he rested and, and was refreshed. All right? Six days. Six days of work and so forth. But in this captivity, it says in, in that, um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4, we shall discontinue from our heritage because we're slaves. We're, we're being punished for our wickedness for not obeying the same commandment. So we rehearse the right to sack as best as we can. Some of us have to work on the Sabbath day. Now, the Passover is coming up, all right? That will be March 19th, all right? And the only way you can the only way you can know when is a Passover is by knowing when is the Sabbath, all right? So let's get into it. Let's lock it. It says, this is Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, And the Mosai said, Let there be lights in the firmament of, of the heaven, to divide the day from the night day from the night and let them be for signs for seasons for days and for years so the lights in the firmament is going to be signs for seasons for days and for years for days specifically is what we're focusing on right now um whereby it states the lights in the sky will give an indication of what day it is right and the only light in the sky that does that is the moon the only moon is the only light in the sky that changes its form and shape day by day. Right? The sun does not. Let's go to the next scripture. This is Psalms 104, verse 19. This is, and it says, He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. So it's going to word seasons. It says, appointed place, appointed time. And that's ma wa i Mawaid, Mawaid, right? <clears throat> appointed time, but appointed meeting, right? It's appointed for that particular time. Ah, here it says, break down strong definition. Prop it's lucky out here. It says, properly an appointed appointment that is a fixed time or season, a specific, specifically a festival, all right? So and the and the Sabbath is is a day of feasting. All right, I'm going to show you that. Let's go. Let's go into it. It says in First Samuel chapter twenty verse twenty four. It says so. David hid himself in the field. When the moon was come, the king sat down to eat meat. All right, David hid himself in the field. Slack you. Let me read it again. It says so. David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon, the new moon was from the king sat him down to eat meat all right so this was a new moon the king was sat the king sat himself down to eat meat in peace and so forth all right <clears throat> yeah, the spirit just got on me now this is the app called the phases of the moon and this indicates This indicates um, the lunar cycle or the lunar day cycle. And if we go back a little, go 
good but there we go This is the new moon, right? March 6th, the new moon is coming in. Right? When the moon is black. And there's no illumination. Right? Because first it was darkness in the beginning, and then the moon suddenly made light, right? So. It says, so David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat, as, as at other times, even upon, the, upon a seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose, and Abner sat by Saul's side, and David's place was empty. Nevertheless, Saul spake not anything that day, for he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean. Surely he is not clean. You know, because when you're unclean, that's supposed to dwell amongst um, you know, bodies and so forth. But, you know, again, we are in captivity. It can be over-righteous. It can be, you know, all holier than thou and whatnot. All right? As they say. It says, um, we, keep the, we keep the commandments to the best of our ability. All right? That's why we're going through the Sabbath. It says, and it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day, day of the month so if the, if this was the second day of the month the new moon obviously is the first as it says in verse 24 all right second day of the month that david's place was empty and saul said unto jonathan his son wherefore cometh not the son of jesse to, to meet neither yesterday nor today all right so they weren't working on that day. They were eating. They were feasting because the Sabbath is a, a day of feast, say a, a day of, you know, um, like family time, so to speak. All right. Um, for lack of a better word, I should say. So, the new moon is a Sabbath. Is a is what is what um you call a high Sabbath. All right, a high a high Sabbath. So if you move. If you move seven days after this, this is one, the second day. All right, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. So, so the new the, the, the first quarter or going into the first quarter would be the next Sabbath. All right. So you don't come the new moon. You come from second day, right? Because the new moon is already a Sabbath. Why would you come? You don't come that day, right? Um, so it would be second day, which will be this will be technically the eighth day in the lunar month. All right. You know, I hope that this is um, edifying and not confusing to you. But it takes some time to, to, to get a hang of it and learn it. That's why we have these apps. And we go over these, these lessons over and over so that we can be quite versed in, in, in keeping these, these holy days. All right, so let's move on to our next precept. Proving that the Sabbath is on the new moon. Is, is the new moon and the day and this and seven days after, right? So this is... um. And this, this scripture here I'm about to bring is um, proof that, is, that Yahweh Shai, who the word calls Jesus, didn't, didn't done away with the laws and commandments. That is, that is totally, that's total blasphemy. All right? That's going against what the scripture says. All right? And this is Isaiah 66 and verse 22. For as the new, as the new, for as the new heavens and the new earth, which will, which I will make, shall remain before me. Right, say Yahweh. So shall your seed and and your name your name remain. Right? And who's that talking about? Israel in verse 20, right? It says chosen Israel here. And that's who the most I talk to. Right? And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, say Yahweh. Right? All flesh will come and worship because in the kingdom of heaven, 
people should be ruled by the Israelites because the Israelites are not done away with because some people stupidly believe that you know there's no more Israelites, Edomites, Ishmaelites, and so forth. So all flesh, the Mosa is gonna make make his people judges of the earth. We're gonna enforce the law and everyone will keep the Sabbath. The world will be in order. That's why it says a new earth and new heavens. All right, is the Lord going to make all his heaven? No, heaven's talking about kingdoms, all right? Rulership. It says verse 24, And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of men, all right, that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. And where is that going to be? That's going to be in the so in um so called USA, which is modern day Babylon, right? Moses is going to burn that place forever as a perpetual memorial, all right? As as he did with Sodom and Gomorrah, to deal with Egypt and so forth, you know. So he's going to make an example out of that. Now, when, now you know when 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 heathen children and and our children see that flame. We're going to edify them on, on, on that flame. All right. All right. So next precept. Proving that the Sabbath is on the new moon and the days and seven days to follow. It says, um, Amos chapter five, chapter eight, verse five. It says, saying, when will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn and the Sabbath that we may set forth? we may set forth wheat and make in the ether small and the shekel great all right so they want they want to know when the new moon will be gone so that they can work all right so that they can work and that proves that the new moon is a sabbath a day in which we can work which whereby sabbath the hebrew is shabbat which means rest it's right here eight seven six 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 shabbat shabbat the of atonement of the year week, right? Let's see here. It says, there it is again, to cease, desist, rest, right? Some six, something three in the origin, intensive form. Um, it says ephah is a type of brain, right? Me making the ephah small and the shekel great as in selling out all the ephah and getting all the money and falsifying balances by deceit the wicked ass Israelites all right so let's move on next precept it says thou shalt daily prepare a burnt offering unto Yahweh of lamb of the first year without blemish thou shalt prepare it every morning Slakia. This is um, Ezekiel 46 and verse 1. Thus saith Yahweh, Power, the gate of the inner court, the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days, but on the Sabbath day it shall be open, and in the day of the new moon it shall be open. Meaning what? All of Israel would gather together, assemble together, and worship Yahweh Hashem Yomshan on that day. All right, it's a day of feasting. Verse three. It says, likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before Yahweh in the Sabbaths and in the new moons. All right, it's right there. And now we may want now you may want be wondering why um why we why you know things change how come the days how come they say it's friday friday evening to saturday evening why some people say it's sunday and so forth because of israel's wickedness um most i took away his sabbaths all right so i took away his sabbaths it's right here it's lamentation chapter 2 verse 5 you have a, was an enemy he had swallowed up israel he had swallowed up all her palaces he had destroyed his strongholds 
and hath increased in, in the daughter of Judah, the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation. He hath violently taken away his tabernacle as if it were a garden. And he, him. he hath destroyed his places of assembly. All right? Yahweh hath caused the solemn feast and Sabbath and Sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion. And he hath despised the indignation of his anger, the king and the priest. All right? Right, he has done this because Israel has been wicked. We've disobeyed, we've broken every law and commandment. Now the Most High is restoring us back to our rightful, back for, to our rightful um, heritage, of religion, heritage. Right. Now I believe this is the last precept. If I'm mistaken. Now this is um, this is a proof that. You know, the apostles taught the Sabbath, all right, was the new moon, and so forth. This is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, all right? The apostles taught the Sabbath, which means Yahweh taught, taught the Sabbath. Right. All right, and that's it. all right. Um, so, and this scripture also proves that you know, though we in captivity, and you know, we do it as best as we can, because you know, depression is going to prevent you from doing a lot of things in this kingdom. Right. And with that, I pray that's that's completely fine. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakhadash, Yahweh honors the apostles and elders of great and stone and salutations to the sincere Akim. Pushing through the Holy Scriptures, Shalom, Rakhatam, Akiyam, Yam.